so guys do you know that you can create good eye caching thumbnails with your android phone with the use of CapCut app i mean the cap code that you're using for video editing you can also use this cap code to create eye caching thumbnail stay with me as i show you some of the thumbnails that i've created with cap code so let me go to my gallery and show you some of examples so this thumbnail was created with cap code with my android phone take a look and see how it's look so with this same one i create this thumbnail with cap code and i also create this very thumbnail with cap code so in this video i'm going to show you how you can do the same by using your android phone with the help of cap code to create eye caching thumbnails that you can use on your videos especially your youtube videos so without wasting much time let's dive into the video first of all you're going to download the CapCut ad if you don't have it go to directly to your play store and then type in CapCut and then download this very app so in my case i have my own CapCut which i've already opened this is it <coughs> and now come over to this place that says photo edit this very one this one that you're seeing guys Pay attention on this video because what I'm about to teach you is something that you pay a lot of uh, uh, graphic design to, to, to really teach you or to do all this work for you. So click on this photo edit and then when you click on that photo edit, actually look for a photo that you actually want to use for editing. I'm going to use one photo as an example. So I will come here and then pick any of these photos from here. So I'm going to pick a very raw photo which is this very one and then you're going to use this very one. The reason why I picked this this image is because I want to really show you how you can use CapCut to do good work. So here, you're going to come over to this place and choose the YouTube ratio. That is 16.9. And then click here. As you click, make sure you scroll down. And then come over here that says 16.9, which is this very one, guys. Pay attention in this video, 16.9. And then... What you do click and then this is how it look like so we have this so we have this image here you can rotate the image as you can see so now what i'm about to do now i've already clicked on the image so i will come over to this place that says i'll come over to this place that say cut out which is to remove the background of this very image so i'm going to click okay i'm going to click and then click on this auto select so it's going to remove the background of this image and the only thing that will be left is the picture so i'm going to click done so this is our image as you can see it looks very good so now the next thing to do is for me to change the background of this <clears throat> the background is white so I want, I want to change the background so scroll down here and come to this place that say background guys pay attention to this video and don't forget to support my channel and then click on this background here i would like to use the color picker background so in order to get a good color so i'll click on my color picker here you can select any of this color if you like them so but in this case we are going to come to the color picker and then i'll click so from here i will use this very thing to look for a very good color background that i actually want to use so i think this very this one is actually okay so I'm going to say I want to mark it and then I will drag it to this very place. I'll make sure I position the the pictures very well. Make sure you position your picture very well. And then I'm going to also bring it very down because you know this picture is being cut off. So this is how it looks like. So for now I'm going to brighten this picture by clicking on that image and then come to this place that say adjust. Just follow the arrow point. Click on adjust and then. So here we are going to select <coughs> the brightness of this image to make sure it stand out very well. So I'm going to I'm going to drag it like this, but I want to reduce it. So first of all, I'm going to reduce the shininess of this image and then come to the brightness and then increase the brightness a little bit of it. Then come to the exposure and then reduce the exposure of this video. And then come to the contract I think. Okay, the contract I'm going to increase it a little bit. And then come to the saturation make sure you watch this video and and understand what i'm actually doing here and also minus it come to the vibrant and then what you do on this vibrant is for you to actually okay drag it a little bit to like 5 to that's 52 to the test and also drag it 
to 69 or 60 so let me leave it as 50 okay then i click done so now we are going to add our test now what text are we going to use so for you to get the text you, you have shape here all type of shape that you actually need on your video just like the one you are using for your editing so we have different type of shape here if anyone that you actually love you can actually use them so now what i will do i'll click on this okay let's just do simple editing so we have line here everything we have it here so we we'll come to our test so this is our test this very one that you are seeing here this is our test so click on the test <coughs> so the test that i actually love is this very one that says okay so let me show you the one that i love so that is what i love using so actually i'm going to use this very one so i'm going to click on this okay and it's going to load so this is how it looks like so what i will do I'm going to type in how to create how to create how to create okay so I'll put it here I'll drag it to that place and then touch it again and then duplicate it how to create YouTube eye caching thumbnail create eyes caching a caching youtube thumbnail so i'm going to drag this one again and then what i will do i would still duplicate i'll still duplicate this stuff and then drag it to this side i caching youtube thumbnail youtube thumb thumbnails thumbnail so what i will do now um i'm going to do it like this uh -huh. so i'm going to put it this way i'm going to leave it this way how to create eye caching youtube thumbnail so what i will do now i will drag this very well and make sure i expand it very well i will drag it to this side and then do the same thing by dragging this one we will change the color or we will actually leave them like that so I'm going to drag this very well. Make sure you watch this video very well. So I'm going to drag this one to this level. So I'm going to drag this one. I'm going to drag this very one. Well. Then maybe we'll, if you want to change the color, come to style. Then you okay, know the white is not actually good. The red is not actually that profession so no 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 so what i'll do i'm going to click on color picker no i actually love that i actually love that color so let me put on my phone on no disturb so that it will not actually disturb us again so i'm going to return this color back to white and then uh, i can push through stroke then i will come on black i select the black okay so i think i love this very one you see so i think this one is better i think this one is better so what i will do now so what i will do i will go over to my to my browser actually my phone is full attention on this video so what you will do go to your chrome browser just so actually I, will, I can't wait for it i'll just type in youtube 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 thumbnail or youtube logo and then click send so actually this is what you're gonna have let's click on this very one and then right click on this very one since we are using your yeah, android phone to do the editing but if you're using your browser you can just double click and then you will see download just download this then i will download this and also click on this very one and then download this the reason why we are downloading this is too because we want to test them and see how they are going to work 
so i've downloaded that one uh, so i'm going to go to i'm going to download another one i will have like three <coughs> i'm sorry so i have like three of them let me let me look for another one and download it again as well so i think that one is enough so now we're going to go to our browsing our cap code where we are editing our thumbnail so click on this eye caching thumbnails and then change the color of this of this test uh, i want to change the color of the test so i want to change the color of this test so i'll come to style here down here you see color where you are seeing here and then change it to this very one you see the test that we are having here we have that says how to create eye caching thumbnail so this test just drag it a little bit up let it be here let it be positioned here now let it come down a little bit you know the way you edit your thumbnail matters and all a lot so now you see how it look like so what we are going to do just tick it and then come over to this place that say add and it's i mean this place i say add photo click on add photo and then come over to uh, you to that logo that you just download it is it understand so this is it so what i will do i will now click on remove bg and then auto remover let's see how it's gonna look like you see how it actually look like so but in this case I think we are not going to use this very one that is the reason why we have like two I'm going to remove it and then try I'm going to remove it and then uh, try another one which I'm going to try this very one I'll drag this one to this very place okay I think this one is not is not okay so let's go back to our Chrome browser and then uh, download this very logo i think this logo will be the best so okay this one have green screen so i'll click then download this okay so let's go back again come over to this place that say add and then click on this very well drag this thing to this place and then click on auto remover and then to remove the background so now we have a very clear background now we have a very good looking logo so just put it on this very place you can put it here so now <clears throat> you see how it is you can touch this test and then drag it again so you see so now what happened is this we want to enlighten the background of this of this so I'm going to like do it this way. Just follow this step. What I'm doing here. Okay. I'm testing something. So if it is the black, it's also fine. If it is this color it's also good so i think i think the black color is the best you understand i think the black color is the best so now what i will do i will click on this place that says done so we are done now i'll click on explore export the video i mean export we want to export our thumbnail now look at click on this place click on here to export your thumbnail so boom your thumbnail is ready click on done so now we're going to come back again and cap cut and come to this place that say image enhance enhancement so enhance this this um how they call this thumbnail click on add and align to load 
so this is how it's loading so guys if you love this video subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me for more videos like this so you don't have to be looking for someone that will design thumbnails for you you can use your cap code to do this it's very simple and it's very easy with this video that you're actually watching save this video so that you'll be you know <clears throat> follow the step that you're actually learning from this video so now if you take a look on this you see how the thumbnail look like don't worry we're about to export the thumbnail now so let me drag it very well let's export this thumbnail so click on export okay done so we are finally export our thumbnail so now let's go to where we normally see our image and look how this thumbnail look like okay i will export no less than three so guys this is how the thumbnail look like let's zoom it and see you see how beautiful and eye-catching thumbnail how it look like so this is how you use thumb this is how you use cap code to create an eye-catching thumbnail a very good thumbnail that no one can believe that you use cap code to create them so if you love this video please support me and don't forget to like don't forget to comment tell me where you're watching me from and tell me the kind of video that you want me to do then i'll do it up here thank you i really do appreciate for your effort and for your support See you in another video.